Welcome to the short video on our amendments process. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce myself first. My name is Catherine. I am the Vice President of the Student Senate for California Community Colleges. Um, we also have another co-presenter with us today. I'll go ahead and let him introduce, introduce himself. Hello everyone, my name is Gerardo Chavez and I am the Regional First Director for Region 9. Awesome. So um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and um, start this start this little um, instructional video. So today we'll be discussing the amendment process. And I'm actually going to go ahead and hand it off to um, Gerardo to kind of recap where we are in the process. All right. So the process, there are five steps. Step number one is to compose the resolution. Uh, that is where you're creating it, you're finding your topic. And then step two is finding a sponsor. Your sponsor could either be uh, a student body association, a region, or a caucus within the SSCCC. And then step three, we have submit, to, submit your resolution to the Rules and Resolutions Committee. And step number four is where amendments are made. And then finally, step number five, presenting your resolution at General Assembly. So as Gerardo recap for us, we've already gone through steps one and three, right? So currently we're at step four, um, where amendments are starting to be made. And so that's what this video is going to be focusing on. Just a few important deadlines. Uh, resolution season announcement is started November 18th. And then the original resolution submission deadline that is January 28th so it's approaching very fast and then we are going to send out the first packet on February 2nd and then the deadline for amendments to resolutions is February February 17th and then uh, the packet the final packet with all those amendments to the resolutions that will be disseminated on February 22nd. And again, it's important to keep these deadlines in mind just because amendments come up are coming up very fast um, and there are several steps to making amendments to your resolution if that's something that you need to do. So it's important to start planning early so that you can make sure to turn them in um, by the February 17th deadline here. Some common amendments um, Amendments can be made for a variety of reasons, some including minor grammar and spelling errors, format, eliminating infeasible sections of your resolution. That is if you have too many uh, therefores or your therefore, um, your uh, resolves or your whereases are starting to sound a little redundant. Um, and then also rephrasing your whereas, your whereases and resolves and also stronger language. So those are some amendments that could be uh, posed to your, um, your resolution. Amendments should not change the overall content of your resolution. Uh, so once you submit your packet, your, your, you submit your resolution, uh, you cannot change the topic of your, of your resolution anymore. You cannot change the content or the intent of your resolution. Um, like I said, amendments can only be made for the things that are shown on the top right there, minor grammar, spelling errors, or any of the other areas that we just covered. All right, and I'll go ahead and take it from here. Um, so just as with your original resolution submission, um, amendments are also required to have sponsorship attached. And so we also need the minutes from those, which is why it's important to start planning early for those. Um, anyone can propose amendments. If you find that after you submitted your resolution, um, you need to make changes to it, you can do that. Um, and also the Rules and Resolutions Committee will often propose amendments uh, that don't in intend to change your resolution in any way, but they are merely to help, make, help you make your resolution stronger. Um, so that it has a higher chance of getting approved at General Assembly. Um, and if you are proposing amendments, you need to secure sponsorship. 
all amendments are required to have sponsorship. Um, and so you can receive sponsorship for amendments from the same body who sponsored your original resolution if you wish. That is usually the easiest way um, and fastest way to secure sponsorship. Or you can actually go to a different body um, and it doesn't have to be the same body. So either or, um, those are two of the ways that you can secure sponsorship for your amendments. Um, and where do I submit amendments to? You can simply email your um, amended resolution uh, to vp at studentsenateccc.org or resolutions at studentsenateccc.org. Um, either of these emails will work. You have to email it before uh, a rules and resolutions committee meeting takes place because we will be considering your, um, your we will be accepting the amendments that you've proposed and that you've gotten sponsored. So you need to make sure that you submit your amendment, amended resolution as well as the minutes that prove your sponsorship in order for us to accept your amendments at our meeting. And continuing on with resolution amendments, um, again, if an author of a, a resolution needs to make a change to your resolution after the original submission deadline, they have to be submitted 35 days before General Assembly. Um, or in other words, for this year, February 17th, 2021, um, you will need to attend an SSCCC Rules and Resolutions Committee. Um, that is mandatory for everyone who uh, would like to propose amendments. And it's good generally because our committee usually recommends amendments to your resolution as well. Um, so the author would definitely want to be present for that. Um, and again, make sure that you submit the minutes if not, we cannot consider your amendments. Um, and then keep in mind, you know, everyone who submits a resolution uh, will be required to attend the Rules and Resolutions Committee prior to GA and prior to the 35 deadline. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And that's it for the short instructional video. Amendments are very simple. They're not overcomplicated. They're very similar to the resolution submission process. Um, and so hopefully this video helped you. I would like to point you to some upcoming webinars we have um, starting with our Saturday webinar on February 6th. Uh, we will be having a resolution studying session in which we can, we will be helping students to uh, find the best ways to interact with students on their campuses over resolutions so delegates can start developing their stances, opinions, and positions on each of the resolutions. And then closer to General Assembly, we have one more webinar that we will be giving um, called How to Prepare for GA slash Resolution Debate. So in that, res in that webinar, we'll be showing you how to be prepared for the debate that will come at General Assembly, how to present your resolution, um, and the whole process that happens during that time. And so that webinar is going to be closer to GA on Saturday, March 20th. Um, and just to end, I want to encourage you to keep staying connected with us. We are on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And so these are our handles, and you can find us at any time. Um, but with that, that concludes the end of this webinar. We hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Vice President, who is the Chair of the Rules and Resolutions Committee, um, at vp at studentsenateccc.org. Thank you so much for watching this webinar, and um, yep, yeah, that's it.